Happy morning, Roughnecks. How is everybody doing today? All right. Well, we've got another one for you. And in this one, uh, a gentleman that goes by the name of North Georgia Audits, who is for some reason a middle-aged rookie frauditor, who, as you'll see in a second, looks like he could definitely be Georgia Transparency, Russell C. Pickron's cousin brother, theoretically. And he's going to learn the finer points of theoretical law versus practical law. And he's going to me, it is definitely a great example of time, place, and manner and what you shouldn't do. However, you know, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll holler at you later. And before we hit play, oh, guys, this right here is North Georgia Audits. And look closely, because is that a tattoo of Colonel Sanders on his neck? Oh, good God, it is. He has a tattoo. He's got a tramp stamp on his neck of Colonel Sanders. Lord have mercy. And I'm going to agree with my brother KFAR that filming vertically should be a crime. Dude, why are you All breathing right? so heavy? All you had to do was pick up your wallet. Do you have your driver's license on you, please? What'd you stop me for? All right, I stopped you because when you drove by me back there, you stuck your middle finger up the whole time you were driving by me. You think I didn't see you? Yeah, I, I yeah. knew you seen me. What was that for? I mean, is it against the law? Is there a no, law against it? Form of aggressive driving. You know, mm, no, sir, it's not. Aggressive driving no, sir, you you can't be uh, a complaining party. In that. I can't be a complaining no, party. No, sir, you can't. Driving. Where's that written in the statute? You want to get your uh, your supervisor out here? Then I'm gonna need somebody. Lord. No, I didn't see. You didn't. This is who you get. So okay. If, if you want to tell me what the statute is, go ahead and recite me what the statute. I don't need to recite the statute. I need to tell you your job. No, you don't need. I can flip you off all I want to. You okay. see that right there? Well, yes, you can. But since I mentioned time, place, and manner, let me follow that up real quick. Yes, you can flip that officer off all day long. That would be considered a freedom of expression. However, remember when I was talking about time, place, and manner? Um, yeah, the time being when you're not behind the wheel of a car and it's in motion. I'm sorry, your vessel, because you're sounding like a sob sit when you're saying that he can't be the complaining party. He can absolutely be what you're calling the complaining party because he's issuing, he's pulling you over because you violated the traffic code. His job, he, authorized by the state of Georgia and whatever freaking in commerce, Georgia, he is sworn officer and he is allowed to enforce that traffic law. And yes, Georgia has a law against distracted driving. You might want to go look that shit up with your little anarchy grande man bun. And seriously, why are you breathing so heavy? All you've done is lift your wallet and your finger. But the officer's 100% right, and you're the 100% wrong. Can't believe you got a damn tattoo of Colonel Sanders on your throat. Jesus Christ. You're driving a vehicle, and you're distracted driving by doing that. I was looking at the road. I can do this all day long, sir. Okay. So you want to tell me what is I'll tell you what. I don't have to give you my ID. Okay, I, don't have, I, don't, I don't have to give you my ID because this is an unlawful stop. Uh, that's not to be decided on scene. That would have to be decided in a court of law. So until a judge says that it's an unlawful stop, I got bad news for you and your other idiot frauded or wannabe buddies. It is a lawful stop. I don't know. Is there a website where y'all pick up this shit? Just curious, because I would love to see it so I can debunk it too like I am your ass. Colonel Sanders, Jesus Christ. 100% unlawful stop. I can flip you off all day long. But you can't take your eyes off the road to look at the officer to gauge his response while you're doing it. All day long. Like, well, what did I do to deserve that from you? Just all of y'all deserve that. All of us deserve that? Uh, until I know different. Yep. Like, all of us as well? 
I was kidnapped and held for ransom for two and a half years by cops. You were kidnapped and held for ransom? All right. Well, as a fellow convicted felon, um, how were you kidnapped again? You broke the law. You got arrested. You were convicted. You were sentenced. And you served the sentence. I don't see how that's kidnapping and held for ransom. Until until the jury of my peers set me free. Oh, there's no way they're getting 12, jur 12 jurors of your size in that damn jury box. It do doesn't matter whether you did or not. I will do this all day long if I want to. Well, you've got time to do it because it's not like you got a fucking job. Okay. You're not going to 100% right. Uh, right you want to write me a ticket for it? I can. I don't no, no. Write me. I dare you to write me a ticket. License, insurance, registrations on the back. Write me a ticket, motherfucker. Write me a ticket, motherfucker. Write me a ticket. Write me a ticket. I'm waiting. Can I go in? You cannot get out of the car. Okay, let's go. Get get this shit over with. Freedom of speech. You can't be a complaining party in a disorderly conduct. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that, guys. I mean, is, is he just that dumb that he doesn't know the difference between soft sit script and fucking frauditor script? Because he's mixing them up. I can't be a you absolutely person. cannot. I can cuss all day in front of you. There's no kids around. There's nobody else. You cannot be a complaining party in the state of Georgia on disorderly conduct. Yes, he can. Because he's the officer that w you're not being even, you're not even being rung up on disorderly conduct. You're being rung up on distracted driving. One plus two does not equal five, man. Why is it you, fra none of you frauditors can do math. Go Nobody check the law. Well, you said I changed the stop. Write me a ticket. You did because now you write me a ticket. And you're calling me a motherfucker for no reason whatsoever. You stopped me unlawfully. I can flip you off all day long. But you cannot drive distracted. It's the same reason you can't drive while you're playing with your phone. You can't live stream while you're driving. You can't. And I know you watch a lot of Pornhub because ain't no woman touching you. Not without sufficient payment in advance so you're not allowed to be distracted while you're driving okay there it is again like i'm saying to you like i'm trying to educate you if you give me an opportunity <laughs> you're the one who needs that. an education obviously sarge okay so all right then let me know which part i need to educate on so that i can educate myself so that anybody can flip you off this is 100 percent the first amendment okay. as i will sit here and do it with my car running and driving past you as i did i do it all the time i do it to state troopers just to see if a motherfucker is going to be stupid enough to stop me for it so there it is. Write me my fucking ticket and let's get this stop over with. I'm home. Okay. I got fries here. Second, my old lady. Right Thank you. you. Okay. Write my ticket. And by old lady, I'm guessing you mean your mom. And I'm guessing you don't live in her basement because there ain't no way you're getting up them stairs. Oh, look at that. That's such a nice dude. I'm going to, if anybody knows this idiot's name, I would love to know it because I want to look up his record because he's got me curious now. And fuck, my, I got put out. So, you know, yeah. Oh, the little buddy's up. Yeah. Daddy. Flipped him off. Okay. And? and he stopped me because it's aggressive driving. I told him to write me a ticket. He wasn't going to write me one, but I told him to write me a ticket. Hey, you want to take these I'm not trying to be too mean today, but buddy, you and her should probably ease off the fast food. Just saying. They're Colonel Sanders sycophant. Am I the only one that wonders why all these frauditors have those damn chomo glasses?
Sorry, guys. That was a lot of dead air. Dude, when you go home, please get rid of that shirt because you have no business wearing anything red, white, and blue or Harley Davidson. And as far as you just busting open that door like that when you're on a stop, that is nothing more than a... Dumb ways to die. You shouldn't do that, dude. Especially when you're being as aggressive and hostile with the officer as you are and he's riding solo. It's just a suggestion. Fucking Colonel Sanders tattoo. Jesus. If you just go ahead and sign right there. Copy me. that. All right. Now, this is not an admission of guilt, like I said. No shit. So you're, if you want to go to court, the court date's right here. Yeah. The time, date, and address, and everything is right there Copy for you. That. And on the back right here is a website. If you want to view the ticket or whatever, the phone number for the police department's right there. No, no, if no. you have any questions. You'll see on there in the remarks column, I, I put the actual case number on there. There's a case number on top. The video from my body camera footage will be available. All you have to do is call the police department and talk to them. I need your body camera footage. will be able to help you out, okay? I need your body camera footage. All right. I flipped you off. All right. I'll say it to you, body cam. I flipped them off. All right. So here's, what is your insurance card and all? Yes, you did, but you did it while you were driving. And you looked at him while you were doing it, which means you took your eyes off the road when you were in control. It's supposed to be in control and paying attention to the operation of your vessel. So he's 100 percent in the right. That is distracted driving. And I don't know where this he can't be the complaining party shit comes in or where you were mentioning disorderly conduct. But you're you, sir, are a moron. All right, man. You have a good evening. All right. My idea. Man. Oh, you get back, back I got it. Three of y'all, because I flipped somebody off. Three of y'all for this. Three of y'all for this. It took three of y'all? It took three of y'all? I'm not getting myself in trouble. They were just matching the body weight, that's all. Well, I can stand here all day long and do this. Get the fuck out. Kick rocks. Emerson, kick rocks. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Back up. Back up. What do you talk to your do you talk to your unfortunate girlfriend like that all the time? I mean, what else do you do when you're pissed off? Anything we need to know about? Hey, Kick rocks. You're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're going to end it guys so let that be the lesson here today if you're going to operate a motor vehicle or travel or operate a vessel you know just small word of advice don't get distracted because of your hate for cops because you got busted doing shit Okay, I get it. You're not you're, you're mad because you can't be a cop now, but that's okay. That's okay. I can we can get a hold of Joshy Lanto and maybe he can get you a job at Taco Bell with him. Well, there's also an opening at Wendy. So, you know, we, hey, keep your fingers crossed, dude. I mean, granted, you're only going to get like a 20 or 30 percent food discount, but that, that's okay. That's still saving you money. And I'm, I'm sorry if I'm being mean to him, guys, but he's got a damn tattoo of Colonel Sanders on his throat. Anyway, hey, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all, and I will holler at y'all later. Have a good one.